Hopefully we can find some cool fish, sea turtles, and all that kind of stuff I've already been sharing, but each time I look at it, it's like the first time. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Hawaii. Just got done with the gym. Yes, I do always work out, even when I'm on vacation. I love working out and uh, just makes you feel good. So vacation or not, that's my thing. But I got that done and then I came to the grocery store to get some food. I've got some ice, uh, a lot of fruit. When it's this hot outside, I just really crave fruit. So I'm gonna be probably eating a ton of fruit today and trying to stay hydrated with water. Every time I fly, I seem to retain a lot of water and I probably was a little bit de dehydrated because I didn't drink a lot of water uh, during the flight and everything. It's like somebody fed the birds. And there's chickens everywhere. I guess I was hungrier than I thought because I just got a poke bowl. This is my first time ever having one with tuna and rice. Guys, I'm a pretty big fan of sushi and this is basically like a sushi in a bowl. Minus the seaweed and minus any tempura fried stuff, which I like tempura fried stuff. But that right there is dang good and dang healthy. And I just got it here at the grocery store, so I'm sure I will be back uh, to get another one. But I'm gonna grub and then we are gonna go find a beach to go snorkel. Okay, look at the goods I got. I picked this stuff actually up in Utah at a dive shop. So I got myself some fins, foot in fins, some goggles, or I should not call them goggles, everyone will be mad. I got a mask with a GoPro attachment, snorkel, goggle anti-fog and cleaner, and a dive knife. Don't think I'll need that for where I'm at right now. And then uh, I got GoPros and stuff, so we're gonna get down to the beach and play with some of that stuff. This water is so clear. This beach is freaking pretty. Look at that. Now let's go underwater. See what's under here. A bunch of people snorkeling. Well, my plans changed real quick. Went from snorkeling in the beach to rushing now to get ready to go hunt. I believe accident. Oh, that's what was biting me, ants. Oh, I was wondering what the heck that was. Nobody warned me about the biting ants out here. What the heck? So yeah, I brought my bow just in case. And it sounds like my buddy found a place for me to hunt tonight and Thursday. So we're going hunting, baby. Here we go, guys. I'm Axis deer hunting. And uh, I've never really done it this way, spot and stock style with a bow, of course. 
seems to be a lot of tracks. Uh, really soft desert-like dirt. I just came across this. Looks to be a rub. It's gonna be fun no matter what. It's gonna be fun to try something new and learn something different. baby check that out oh my gosh that's so cool first axis deer shed right here in the bottom it's got some brown on it a little bit nice little guy I'll throw that on the pack I got permission to keep all the sheds I find so you know I'm looking Well, I just bumped another group. So they're clearly gonna see me before I see them in this thick mess. I might just find a, a spot, popular trail and post up. Try to catch them moving first. So I'm gonna post up right here. There's a huge trail with tons of tracks. And uh, I just bumped those deer right above here. I got the wind coming up. So maybe they'll circle around or something else will come through here tonight at dark, but I've got a good 30 yard shot at this uh, trail. Let me show you. So the trail, the trail kind of runs right through there. Up 30 yards. So many deer coming my way, holy crap. The wind is perfect, so they just gotta get closer. I gotta make a move. I got the GoPro. Well, I guess some things are too good to be true because that was too good. I had that group right there. Anywhere from 60 to 85 yards coming my way. And a freaking deer from behind me, upwind, uh, blew and alerted them all. Literally, that was so dang perfect. I mean, I snuck right into the edge of this, and uh, they were just out in that flat bed. Now they're super high alert, so I'll let things calm down and regroup. Try to make a move on them before dark. Dang, that was close. So close, the two biggest bucks were coming my way. Man, these deer got some cool hideouts. Down here in the bottom of this. Look at all their beds. I think the biggest problem is there's just so many of them. Got a lot of eyeballs and a lot of noses searching you out. I have to say I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that hunt. I thought it was gonna happen. Oh, we really only needed 20 more yards probably to shoot a doe, maybe 30 more. Yeah, yeah, like 30 more yards to shoot one of the better bucks that was in the group, but back at the vehicle eating my leftover poke bowl is that what it is heck i forgot rice and tuna different flavors on it super good i'm gonna start doing this kind of stuff more often ended up with a dead head and two sheds so it's a win and that was only in one evening of like i don't know maybe two and a half three hours of hunting so the news is i get to hunt this place on thursday so 
uh, I'll be filming here and there and we will get more hunting in for sure and most likely hopefully I should say hopefully another opportunity at some axis deer I chewed a doe I want meat and I want a hide I love my axis deer hides and those deer were so cool the bucks really seem to have the darkest uh, capes so they have the most contrast between their like orange hair and their spots so um, I would have shot a buck if he came in, but I also would have shot a doe if he came into 30 yards broadside. That'd be a no-brainer. Time to go to bed. Time to head to the cave. Bedtime. Sweet little rooftop tent. It's getting the job done. This is my temporary home.